Today, we're going to be figuring out, can you beat Super City as the Punisher? Basically, we're only allowed to do things that the Punisher could do, meaning we can only use guns, knives, explosives, etc. But no superpowers in a world of superheroes. <laughs> so let's see what happens. But before we get started, if you do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let me know that you want to see more of this type of content. Also, it'll mean a lot to me. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I started this runoff on the rooftops. Why I was there, I have no idea, but I guess it kind of seems like a place Punisher would be. While I was up there, some random guy asked me for help fighting some other random guy. And of course, me being me, I said no, which surprisingly he wasn't too happy about. But frankly, I I didn't care. <laughs> See what I did there, frankly? After that, I went around the city looking for a gun because, of course, what's Punisher without his guns? But unfortunately, the first gun that I found was a rifle, which wasn't the best I could have found, but I mean, it was okay. It's a gun. A gun is a gun. So after that, I was making my way to the elevator because I felt like that would be the easiest place to take over. But then I found this potion that was just sitting in the hospital, so I decided to stop and drink it. Why I drink it? I have no idea considering it literally doesn't do anything for me, power is nothing. But I did end up drinking it and I was immediately attacked by a mummy and Mr. T. Punisher actually ended up peeing himself too, which, I mean, look who he's fighting, I probably would have done the same. But eventually, Punisher did regain his composure and he actually took out the mummy with ease, but Mr. T on the other hand, he ended up turning into the war machine and I don't know what you think, but... I don't think bullets are doing anything to this guy. So after getting stomped out and jumped on by literal hundreds of pounds of metal, I was eventually captured and taken to the prison to think about why I got myself in this situation. But I didn't have to think too long because Mr. T came up to me asking me if I wanted to join the villains, which I obviously said no, but he just opened the gate anyways right after he asked me. So I don't know if that was a part of his plan or maybe the gate was broken or something, but I was a free man. So I was back to Rome in the city looking for a weapon again when I actually saw Solid Snake holding a rocket launcher. And just seeing this guy brings back bad memories from extra lives, but I decided to get my revenge by taking his rocket launcher and leaving immediately. I didn't get too far though because I was stopped by Storm who wasn't too happy that I had beef with War Machine. So she ended up freezing me, which I didn't even know she could do. And I decided, you know what? I have a rocket launcher. I could probably take out this area. And I ended up taking out Storm with ease. Literally like what three rocket launcher shots it took? Then Doc Ock was next. He decided to come at me in his human form which wasn't smart. Also the Green Goblin was there. This area was just full of Spider-Man villains and The Undertaker for some reason. After I took them out, I decided to go back to the hospital to finish my beef with War Machine cause I couldn't just let what he did to me slide. And once again, it only took like three or four rocket launcher shots to take him out. So I decided I don't want to use a rocket launcher right now. It's kind of cheap in my opinion. So I picked up the rifle and made my way to the bathroom where I saw a villain and a neutral guy arguing. And I thought to myself, this would be the perfect time to just sneak up on these guys. So I did that and I shot Seth Rollins once and took over the bathroom. Next, I went to the prison and saw that most of the people here were in cells and the only person who wasn't in a cell was Catwoman, so I took this opportunity to take her out. She took more shots than I was expecting, but I did eventually take her out and all the heroes that were in their cells got released, which I could really care less about them, but I mean, it is what it is. I guess I'm a hero technically. After that, I went to the prison yard and found an assault rifle and just started letting off on anyone who even looked like a villain, but I didn't end up taking over the area and there was really no one else there so i just went to the desert and i ran into mr t again he obviously wasn't too happy to see me but my assault rifle wasn't too happy to see him and for some reason he didn't have his suit on i guess it was in a shop after all those rocket launches it took after that i took out brock lesnar but for some reason i didn't take control over the area so i ended up leaving and coming back and hoping that it would spawn a new villain and this random guy came up to me talking about how he's mad that I took out Seth Rollins so obviously I just put a few bullets in him and I took over the area. I was not very smart of him. 
After that, I ran into Captain Planet who was getting bullied by Tom Hardy, and I decided to be nice to this guy and say yeah, that I'd help him because I had to take over this area anyways. It only took a few shots to take out Kingpin and a fellow military man actually took out Kane. I actually wanted this guy as my sidekick, but he just, he just didn't want to talk to me afterwards. So after that, I made my way to the aircraft where I found TNT, but before I could use it, I was jumped by some old man and some guy who looks like Ryu, but I don't think is Ryu. But I managed to get away and threw the TNT at him. Then I found a grenade and threw that at him too, which took out Ryu and made the old man pee his pants. But once again, I, there were no more villains in the area, so I had to leave and come back and there were way too many people here at this time, so I just decided to leave this area again. So after that, I went to the beach and took out Vince McMahon, which actually let me take over the area, which was pretty easy. Next, I went to the docks when I finally remembered that I have the ability to see who's a villain and who's a hero. I don't know why I didn't use it up to this point, but I remember now. So after I took out Spawn, I actually saw that Hit Girl was the boss of this area, so I decided to go after her first. I think this is the point where I thought to myself, oh, maybe I only have to take the boss to take over the area but when i went to the snow there are way too many villains and neutrals to really find the boss so i ended up taking all of them out first and then i went after the boss who i'm pretty sure was doom and bullets barely worked on this guy but they eventually got through it's i guess it's because i have the automatic weapon the automatic weapon has to be like the best gun in the game but after taking them out apparently there was one person left so me and this random chick took out lex luther but we still didn't have control over the area then this chick just took my gun out of my hand shot me and then dropped the gun immediately i don't know what she was thinking dropping the gun like she did have me in a headlock but i have that broke out i just picked up the gun and shot her but even after that we still didn't have control over the area and that's when i realized that yeah there's a bug in this game where sometimes you just can't take control of the area so you have to leave and come back and do it all over again but when i came back i actually saw this chick and this guy fighting over aquaman's trident which they couldn't even pick up so i just had to watch that for a second after that some chicks said i looked cool then i started blasting i decided to go after the boss first who was this guy in the white button-up shirt and i actually took over the area after that so that's when i realized that maybe i do only have to take out the boss but when i went to the forest i didn't even have to check who the boss was because mystique was happy enough to tell me that she was the boss herself so after getting stomped out by three people mystique actually lost her form which actually gave me enough time to get up and pick my gun back up again and literally everyone here was either a villain or neutral so i didn't have to worry about accidentally hitting the hero with my gun so after taking out doom i took control of the forest next i went to the dojo and saw that juggernaut was the boss and decided to try to get a cheap win which actually worked i only had to take him out and no one else retaliated so that was an easy win for the dojo after that i went to the bedroom where penguin took himself out <sighs> This dude's so trash, bro. And all I had to go up against was the human version of She-Hulk, and a grenade was more than enough to take her out. But then I got a phone call from, I think, Captain America, and he asked me to bring him a bag of coins, but he literally did not tell me where he was. Like, just think to yourself, imagine asking someone to bring you a bag of coins, but not telling them where you are. But hold that thought for a second, because after I went outside, some guy thanked me for taking out War Machine, but then he tried to attack me. When they say you can't trust anybody, this is what they mean. But anyways, I was carrying this bag of coins around trying to find Captain America when She-Hulk actually discovered my identity apparently, which I'm not wearing a mask. But yeah, she managed to knock me to the ground or maybe Spider-Man knocked me to the ground. Nonetheless, I ended up on the ground and Spider-Man actually took out She-Hulk and we took over the hallway. So after that, I picked up the bag of coins again to try to find Captain America when I actually got into the elevator. I saw that it was only three people People there i think it was me super goal and some random guy and i thought this was the perfect area to try to take over so i started drinking some beer to try to get my power back to maximum when super goal just socked this dude in the mouth i literally didn't help her at all here she did this all by herself i was drunk the whole time literally falling over nonetheless we took over the elevator and i decided to just put the coins in my pocket because i wasn't finding this guy captain america anytime soon after that i took the elevator up to the rooftop where a fellow soldier actually dropped a rocket launcher for me which was gonna to be perfect for this area so after i picked it up snake eyes actually came up to me and told me that spawn was the boss of this area which i mean i could have pretty much guessed that he was the coolest looking guy here so i imagine he would be the boss so i hit him with a few rockets until he gave up but he was still moving and i didn't want that to be the case so i hit him with a couple more and then all i had to do was take out the stragglers and with the rocket launcher 
yeah, that's not going to be a problem at all. With the rooftop being under our control, that makes 15 out of 33 areas that belong to the heroes. And it was at this point where I realized, am I actually a hero? I mean, I've only taken out these areas by killing people. I thought to myself, maybe I should stop killing. Maybe I should have a little, you know, redemption arc. But then I saw Captain America and forgot about that real quick. You know, it's actually funny because Captain America wasn't a hero in his playthrough, so <laughs> I had no issues killing this guy. And if that means taking control over another area too, that's a win-win. After that, I went next door and took out Colossus, whose name I always forget, but I think I got it right. But yeah, after taking him out, I took over the classroom. But as soon as I left, apparently there were like 50 people out here, and they were telling me that I was responsible for half of the trouble in the city, so they all were gonna take me out. So anyways, I started blasting, and apparently 50 people are enough for a rocket launcher, but as soon as the stormtroopers started hitting the shots, I knew I had to get up out of there. So now with a bounty on my head, I decided to go full rogue mode and take out villains by any means necessary, even if that means rogue getting hit by a few rockets. But apparently Hit Girl didn't like that and she started attacking me, and which, you know, it's actually kind of interesting, because I feel like Hit Girl and Punisher would actually make a good team. So I actually gave her respect and decided to fight her fist to fist, which was actually way more even than it should have been but after she lost her power yeah there was pretty much nothing she could have done to me she even tried glitching my character out but that still didn't work a for effort though after taking over that area eminem came up to me and apparently he had a problem i don't know what it is but in every single game eminem always has beef with me so i legit mopped the floor with him he didn't get one single hit off on me and surprise surprise there was another rocket launcher in this area so i used that to take out terminator and we took over the suburbs but the car park was a different story as soon as i got in there reverse flash froze me and then attacked me and if you play this game you know that that the flashes are the most annoying people to fight in this game like this guy had me so shook that even a normal human could pull off anything he wanted on me at that point i think frank's brain was like spinning in his head or something so i saw deadpool and saw that he had a gun so i took that from him shot literally like once or twice and reverse flash came running over and stole the gun from me luckily when he detransformed i think he dropped the gun so i managed to pick that back up get a few shots off but then i accidentally left the area so i tried to get back to the car park as quick as i could because i didn't want reverse flash to get his power back but as soon as i got there i saw that there were maybe even more villains than when i started i mean the joker was there brock lesnar kingpin bane hit me with his signature backbreaker and i'm pretty sure sandman actually took me out here but luckily i survived and didn't go to the hospital i think kane then flipped me over everything was bad here so after i woke up i made the desperate crawl to my gun i've never been this low man this was the lowest of the low punisher has ever been i legit felt like i was fighting the sinister six and all i had was a pistol so i decided to just leave and go back to my house to go to sleep after I woke up, I decided to take out a slightly easier area, so I went to the gates and found out that this guy was the boss. I feel like I should know who this is, but I don't. But he only took a couple shots, and also Storm was there, so I had to take her out too. Next was The Undertaker, who I actually put in a bear hug. I don't know how I did that. I mean, this guy's literally like, what, 7 feet, 300 pounds? Like, I understand I've been hitting the gym, but putting The Undertaker in a bear hug is crazy. But finally, I had to take out Matt Dickey, the man who's technically responsible for this whole situation. But even after doing that, I didn't take over the area, so I had to leave and come back and fight even more people. This time, Kingpin was there, but I mean, even he isn't resistant to bullets, no matter how big he is. Nick Cage took a couple bullets too, and once again, I didn't take over the area, so I did the same thing again for the third time. This time, I decided to take out everyone, even if you were a hero, but then Doom came in, and he had the same idea, literally exploding all of his villain buddies too. Me and him were literally on the same page at this point. Somehow, he managed to block my bullets with a baseball bat. A wooden baseball bat, mind you. One of my fellow soldiers even managed to take the bat from him for like a split second, which caught him off guard for a little bit, but he took it right back immediately and went back to blocking my bullets. I mean, this guy would not let up. He was beating me left, right, up and down. I couldn't do anything against this guy. He eventually kicked me so hard that I almost left the area, which probably would have been good for me because shortly after that, he ended up taking me out. So now I was locked up with Thor. How they locked up Thor? 
I have no idea, but they got this man. And I couldn't do anything while I was locked up, so I basically just went to sleep. I'm pretty sure I woke up once, Thor threw his hammer at me, I tried to pick it up, that obviously didn't go well. And a villain somehow took over the area off screen, but luckily right after they took over the area, Thor and I were released from our cells and I decided, you know what, since Thor is here, I might as well try to take over this area. All I had to defend myself was a knife and Kingpin eventually took that from me, then he hit me with a backbreaker. I don't know why, but villains always do the backbreaker to Punisher. I don't know if they have some sort of grudge against me or what. I mean, I can see Kingpin having a grudge with Punisher. But still, can't you like break my leg instead or something? I kinda need my spine to walk. I guess I'd need my leg to walk too, but you know what I mean. Anyways, after getting jumped by Kingpin and Colossus, Captain Planet showed up. And what is Captain Planet gonna do against all these villains? Nothing. That's the answer. He's going to do nothing because I literally died. Or at least I thought he was gonna do nothing because after I woke up, he told me that he managed to take over the area. I don't know how he did it, but he somehow did. But after I got some rest, I went outside, saw Robin with a gun, took that from him, and decided to try to take over the diner again. Lucky for me, Superman was here, so I didn't have to do much. Yeah, he didn't last very long. But I did shoot this exploding barrel, so that was cool. The explosion actually weakened everyone enough for me to just take them out while they were on the ground. Vince McMahon tried begging for his life and asked to join the heroes, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not letting you join the heroes, man. You should have asked Superman when he was alive. Next, I went after the boss of the office who put up literally no fight at all. I mean, he wasn't in his superhero form, so that's pretty much expected. Next, I went to the prison yard and saw this old man literally beating a convict and taking over the area for the villains. But unfortunate for him, I found a grenade and just threw it at him and took over the area. That was almost easier than the office. Next, I went to the subway and channeled my inner Joker. Riddler had his transformation arc. He thought he was going to do something. Got hit with a couple shots. Went down pretty easy. But once again, I did have to leave this area and come back and do it all over again. It pretty much went the same as last time, except Green Goblin transformed for like a split second but other than that it was business as usual a couple shots took out CM Punk and we took over the subway I made my way to the sewers next and I don't know what it was but I missed literally every shot here but I did find some TNT so I threw that did a little bit of damage but I just I knew there were way too many villains here so I decided to leave this side character asked for help I said no and left him there to die then I made my way to Chinatown where Catwoman was there again I don't know how so many people are surviving all these shots that they're taking from Punisher, but I gotta give it to him. The Rock pretty much handled everything else on his own, so I made my way to the store, which was right next door. There are only two people here, and this chick couldn't even stand up straight, neither could I. Then I got jumped, and when I tell you I've never felt so helpless in all my time playing this game, I mean it. I literally couldn't do anything here. If you look close enough, you might even be able to see the hopelessness on Punisher's face. Luckily though, after waking up in a hospital, who I can only assume is Matthew Murdock, offered to heal me so i of course said yes i'm not gonna pass up on a free heal then i took this potion from green goblin and found out that i don't have my power anymore which isn't too bad it doesn't make me stronger but it means that i won't be able to see who's a villain and who's a hero anymore but a quick tnt explosion fixed that real quick i thought it was gonna be a 2v1 against kingpin and penguin but this guy that i left for dead actually showed up starting to kind of regret that i abandoned him now but it is what it is this old man stole my knife so i had to use a baseball bat for i believe the first time in this run and not only can baseball bats stop bullets but they can also take over schoolyards after that i made my way back to the car park where i found a rocket launcher and put that to use immediately taking out doom with ease then i took a smoke break because supergirl was there and we already know she can handle herself pretty well unlike her cousin next i made my way back to the sewer with much heavier artillery and it only took one rocket to take over the area silver surfer tried to stop me but i got out of there instantly i decided to make my way to the gates when this random guy who couldn't even pick up a rocket launcher decided to press me so after beating him with my bare hands and taking over the train i made my way to the gates where i found an assault rifle and yeah we already know no one's doing anything against an assault rifle even cm punk who's somehow still alive next i was making my way to the east side of the map when i noticed that the street only had a few villains there or i guess neutrals but it turns out that one of them was actually frankenstein who's also susceptible to bullets so <laughs> that didn't really matter much also michael jackson 
was there who also didn't put up much of a fight, unfortunately. But this random chick did. She actually decided to take my gun from me, but luckily Supergirl was there to help. And not even in her superhero form, she was strong enough to win. Then I made my way to the prison where I ran into Hit Girl again, and she did not want any smoke. She ran instantly. And her boss even locked himself in a cell out of fear. I tried shooting them through the bars, through the wall. They didn't work. I even waited there for... I don't know how long, but they never opened the gate, so I just decided to leave. But as soon as I left, I got hit with a rocket, which surprisingly didn't do much to my health. Nonetheless, this guy was here to help, which gave me enough time to get my assault rifle back and get my revenge on this dude. And who I can only assume were his friends too, which actually let us take control over the prison yard. Next was the hangar, where I ran into Trump, who fortunately for him wasn't there to fight. So I only had to take out two people to take over the area. Brock Lesnar tried to do something, but but didn't really matter. And for some reason, he decided to sleep in a time machine, which unfortunately for him was exactly where I went next. Yeah, let's just say he never woke up. Next, I just went around taking out the villains in the area. Then the guy that I abandoned finally decided that he had enough and attacked me. So yeah, I wasn't that upset when he got hit with a straight bullet here. I actually think he was the only person who actually retaliated against me in that area. After taking over the time machine, Bruce Wayne asked me to go defend the junction, which normally I would say no to, but for some reason I felt like making editing this video even longer for myself. I was hoping that there was only going to be a few villains here, but I was definitely wrong about that. But luckily, while I was getting jumped, Thor actually took out Eminem, which gave us control of the junction. Which was good and all, but I still had the issue of, you know, currently being jumped. Not to mention Reverse Flash started another war, so... I pretty much had no choice but to fight now. I even managed to crawl my way to a rifle that was on the ground, but Reverse Flash did not make that easy for me. And when I say he didn't make it easy for me, I mean he killed me. Which also meant that the villains took over five of our zones while I was unconscious. I should have just said no. Anyways, I woke up in the prison, did this somehow, did this somehow, went to sleep, did this somehow, did this some- you, you pretty much get the gist. I was basically trying to glitch myself out of the cell, but it obviously wasn't working. Not to mention the fact that this chick told me to take over the schoolyard knowing that I couldn't leave, which only made it worse. So I just had to sit here and watch the time go down before they finally released me from the cell. When I got to the schoolyard, I only had two and a half minutes to take it over, which might seem like a long time, but mind you, I only had a knife. But luckily, I only had to stab this burglar 28 times and I took over the schoolyard again. Then I went to the junction where I found out that me and this chick were dating now, which was good and all but she literally died a few seconds later punisher really can't have anything can he but hopefully soon enough he'll at least have a villain free city starting with reverse flash after that i jumped into the store where i saw that dark phoenix was there again i'm starting to think that she lives in the store at this point but lucky for me there was also an assault rifle there that i didn't even have time to pick up before getting jumped by literally everyone in the store but dark phoenix and king ben did eventually start fighting each other which did give me enough time to get the assault rifle, but Jean Grey obviously did not care. She even stopped to stand over me and give me hope that she wasn't gonna kill me. Like literally, she let me get up, eat food, regain my health, only to break my back like everyone else. But luckily this time, they only took over the schoolyard while I was knocked out. So after I got out of prison and shot everyone, she stopped me again. I eventually got my gun back and took her out, making sure to finish the job. I did not want to see her face ever again. Anyways, while I was taking out the rest of the villains, one of them begged me for his life and asked to join the heroes, but at this point I was just in full bloodlust mode. Everyone is dying. Even this guy who I shot through the wall somehow. Next I went to the schoolyard and took out this old man, went to the train and took out Yellow Jacket, and went to the store to take out Deadpool and Dark Phoenix who was somehow still alive. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson? Dark Phoenix. Next, I went to the aircraft and saw that this guy stole my logo. I decided to fight him with my bare hands just to show him who's really the Punisher here. And it actually took longer than I was expecting it to. I even threw a grenade at him at one point, which wasn't enough to take him out, surprisingly. I mean, maybe at this point, in another timeline, he may have been the Punisher. But in this timeline, he's dead. 
like the rest. Next, I went to space and took out Pharrell, who turns into a skeleton for some reason. I actually took time here to come up with a theory why he's a skeleton. You know how that skeleton character in Fortnite kind of looks like Lil Uzi Vert? And Uzi had that song with Pharrell, you know, Neon Guts. You know what? It, it doesn't matter, bro. This isn't a conspiracy theory video just in the video dude there's like two more areas left all you need to know is that i shot people when i won why are you still here oh wait but before you go like subscribe 20k maybe please <laughs> oh my gosh what's wrong with me all right bye